Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm Justin. And I'm Al. And we're gonna review Glen G18. I can't wait. Me neither. Yeah. Let's go. So I've always enjoyed Glen Morangy's uh, other whiskeys. Uh, they've been pleasantly tame, uh, just very approachable, easy to find. They are easy to find. You can find them. I, I see it on the shelf all the time. Yeah, yeah, and that's one of the reasons I I like Scotch in, in some regards better than bourbon is I can find it. So Glen Morangy 18 comes in at an ABV of 43. So Glen Morangy 18 matured for 15 years in American X bourbon cask. 30% of that is transferred to the X sherry cask and matured for three years, and after that it's bottled. All right, Al, so why don't you say we go ahead and uh, get this guy opened? I think we should, but you know, we, sh we should also talk about the fact that, you know, really nobody knows what Glen Warrenji means. What does Glen Warrenji mean? Oh, no, it's it's lost. It's Absolutely lost nobody there's has There's no it. way to look it up. No, you can't. Okay, don't even I try. wish we had a tool. Like an information highway? So yeah, information something highway like that. Maybe I think Al Gore should admit that. One thing I think we probably need to mention uh, is the boxing. I, I think so, because uh, once again, we, we've always talked about presentation of, of different whiskeys, bourbons, uh, and even scotches. They do a great job in their presentation of things. Makes it look a little bit more desirable to buy. Yeah, it kind of looks elegant and just yeah. fancy. Yeah, I mean, you know, fancy pants. That's right. So uh, thanks, Al, for giving us a pour. Uh, looking forward to getting into this one. Let's take a look at the color real quick. All right, so on the color on this one, um, I will go ahead and note that Glen Morangy does color their scotch. How much, it doesn't say, and I wasn't able to find it online. If you know, then please comment below. Um, but some of this color is from the uh, ex-American oak bourbon casks, and also the, uh, you know, that dark kind of fruity look to it. That's gonna be from the uh, three years in the sherry cask. So there is some color from the cask, of course, but how much of that is true, I'm not sure. Al, what, what do you think that, when you're, when you're looking at it, what do you see in terms of color? I have a dog whining behind me. Let me let them out. It's got that, that kind of a, a gold, golden honey yeah, it color does. to it. I mean, it's, it's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty whiskey. It looks kind of, a, I would say like, if it had a look to it, I would say it's crisp. Um, it's got a lot of viscosity to it, as you can see the legs on the glass there. So very clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's 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 very very clean. It doesn't mm -hmm. have when you swirl it around the glass. It doesn't have a lot of particles that, mm -hmm. that come up mm -hmm. like like some some of you know those non chill filtered ones or you know they'll have a little bit of remnants yeah, in the bottom. Sure. Of it, but which is which is, I mean, is a little flavoring. But yeah, this is it's real clear. It's, yep. So now that we've taken a look at the color, why don't we go to the nose and see what we get? Let's go. Dried fruit. Yeah. Dried fruit really gets you. I get some orange peel in there. It's very rich. Mm-hmm. Very, very rich smelling. There's a little bit of ethanol there, um, but it's just barely noticeable. I don't think it overpowers the- I don't, I don't think it, I, I still, you're still picking up flowers. Yeah. Uh, it's got a floral scent to it. Yeah, dark. I mean, it's kind of a strange mix because a lot of times when you smell a whiskey, if it's more floral based, then you're not going to get any of those bold, deep, dark, you know, fruit flavors. But I, you, this you one, can, you can get you fruit do. on this one. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of got that figgy. Yeah. Uh, fig Newton type. Mm -hmm. That sherry's cake. coming through. Yeah, fruit that, cake. We talked about that. We talked yeah. about that before. Fruit cake. Um, lots of brown sugar for me and vanilla. There's some spice, like some oak spice in there. They're typical of the bourbon casks. The uh, the power of suggestion. As soon as you said brown sugar, it yeah, it kind of popped kind out. Kind of pops out. Yeah. But I've smelled, you know, some other scotches uh, that almost smell like a burnt brown sugar. This smells this almost is, just like is, the fresh brown sugar it's out a light, of the package. Light brown sugar. Light brown sugar. Yeah. It's not a deep, not a dark. Heavy brown that's sugar. That's right, that's right. Just, just light. I agree. Why don't we uh, go to the palate and see what we got? 
very smooth. It's got that, ooh, it's got a very bold flavor to it. I don't, well, I don't want to say bold. I don't, I don't mean bold. It's, it's bold. got a very distinct feeling uh, taste to it. It's not, not hot, not overpowering. It's, it's, it's warm. It is warm. You can get a, you, you get a, a, a sense of warmness when it, <clears throat> when spice. it comes over. You, you, you do have a spice. Um, pick, I'm picking up a lot of that dark fruit you're talking about. I'm picking that up a Newton lot hot, of fruit. Yeah, um, like the, the you know the inner part of the Fig Newton, the jammy part. Um, there's some there's some oak in there, but it's not like a drying sensation. Actually, this is quite the opposite. I don't have a dry mouth feel at all. No, not at all. Uh, it does have a, a a woody, earthy yeah taste to it. Yeah, it does. Uh, figs. Mm -hmm. uh, I would almost even say kind of datey. Yeah, with, with mm -hmm. dates yep. involved in it, you can you can pick up some of those some some of the hints. It, it's I, I'm always really interested, and I'm always amazed by the fact that you you end up tasting these whiskeys, you end up tasting the scotches, the different uh, stuff that's out there that we've tasted, and you can pick up so much of these flavors that come through, and it's it's always amazing, and most of them are unique. Which is, which is kind of crazy, you know. When you when you think about most of it's made, most of it's made pretty sim similar. Yeah, in Na fashion. Nashville's can be a little bit different, but but they but but they're they're pretty similar. But yeah. but they do have a, a unique flavor, which is which is mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. I agree, especially for Scotch. I mean, you can have different flavors by different regions of the of Scotland. So Highlands, Lowlands, Speyside, Isla. And it's it's it, it amazes me that the the earth draws all that stuff into the grain, uh, whatever's around, and, and gives it that mm -hmm. unique flavoring. And it's it's awesome. Yeah, it really is. This one uh, just has a lot going on for it. Um, I want to say I'm getting like a, a a mocha, like a you know that bitter ch chocolate. Yeah, the, a, a dark. Because there's chocolate. something on the back end. You get a dark chocolate. Yeah, it's just staying there. It's, it's like, I don't know that I taste it while I'm drinking it, but it's but afterwards. It, it is. It, it does have a, a, a bit of an aftertaste like, like you would mm -hmm. a, a, I don't want to say a, a, a baking chocolate because we, we know that's, that's really bitter and, and harsh, <clears throat> but, but it does have a, a certain feel that, that stays around. It's for, reminiscent for to me of like a Hershey's dark, dark <laughs> of a Hershey's dark, dark, <laughs> of a Hershey's dark chocolate little mini candy bar. Yes. Which it's, I... Normally, I, I would stay away from that. I've gotten where I like that stuff. I don't. I think that happens when you get old. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm not old. Well, yeah. yeah you're older than me. Uh, no, actually. I'm not. Yeah. Anyway. No. Well, let's give we'll, this guy a score. We'll disagree on that. We'll agree to disagree. <laughs> so what do you think about changing the score from one, to, from 1 to 5 to 1 to 10? We're just doing this ad hoc here as we go. We don't know yeah, what we're doing. Yeah, that guy kind of came out of left field there. Uh, <laughs> wasn't expecting that. But I, I, keep you on I, guess, going, I, I guess going to 10... The only thing that worries me about going to 10, I, I, I get the, the range, and maybe we've gone a little too high. I mean, interrupted a perfectly good point. They don't say anything, bark, make any noise all day. And now, now, all of a sudden, they're ready to chime in. Yeah, they, I mean, they're this big. Yeah. Like they're gonna do One anything. of them doesn't even have an eye. I know, one has a, yeah, yeah. freaking Cyclops. But. I just I, I don't I don't know I don't want people to think that if we rate rate something a, a four or five that we're meaning that I don't know. I think a four or five on a scale of one to ten is pretty pretty bad. Pretty bold. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's give this a rating. Let's do it. Um, I think I'm about an eight point five on this one. Wow. Uh, I really really like it. Um, uh, with that, I can tell. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean it's just got so much going on. Um, I would like for it to be non chill filtered no color added and uh maybe a one or two percent higher abv um I but think. really if they add, if, if they add color to it is that really taking it, away from the taste that's a whole value? argument when you I, get into the purists you and know, i and it, i and i understand that yeah. part, but i'm talking about strictly from a pour to Just a taste the way it smells the way yeah. it smells you know I, but i mean to me yes it matters because the experience to me uh, with scotch and or with whiskey period is kind of seeing the color 
uh, what what it becomes in its natural state without being altered in any type of way. And you wonder if the if the coloring that they put in there if it adds any type of flavoring to it. Uh, that's against the law. Well, they, they can't do that. Um, so, but that's not to say that other uh, Scotland or for for Scotch you can't do that. Once again, does that really pull back on the experience that much that they add color to it? So if they didn't add color and it was the color that it is, would my rating change? Right. That's what I'm. Yeah. That's the reason I'm saying that is because if the if it wasn't this color, <clears throat> would it still taste the same? And I would say, I would argue say yeah, that the taste is going to stay the same. Yeah. I they're would. not adding flavor. They're they're just adding a little bit color. of color. Yeah, and that's fair. You know, Dalmore, uh, Dalmore gets trash for that all the time, uh, but I still really enjoy their their whiskey. So, um, I, I mean, I. Knowing it, I, I like that, you know, you can look it up and find out. Um, if they didn't tell us and it was a secret, would it make a difference? Probably not. But knowing what I know uh, that they disclose, um, it, it does give, a, I think it knocks a few points off. I, once again, we're, we're going back to the value. I particularly don't know how much this particular bottle costs. Right. Maybe you can fill us in. We sometimes don't talk about Fight Club, but... <laughs> We kind of have to bring up some of that in these reviews because it is nice for people to know what they're getting. I know. I know. I mean, the more subscribers and viewers and, you know, all that that we have, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Uh, so you're that's still gonna, not going to talk. That's going to lead us to be able to buy some of these bottles for right. you. You're, and you're still not going to talk about how much it was. It was 120 bucks. Okay. Well, see, that's not that's not bad. It's not. That's, for I, I mean, it, it's not. it's not that bad. However, that does pull the price point up a little bit. Uh, it is it is something that is a drawback when you get ready to go into and get a bottle off the shelf and you're gonna spend that type of money. Mm -hmm. Because once again, you know, you're talking about 750 milliliters. You're gonna get some pours out of it, but it can't be a daily pour. No. It can't at that price point not, it can't not be for, a daily not pour. Not for the normal dude. That's why I'm that's why or I lady. pull back a little bit on my rating is simply because of the value. This has, my rating has nothing to do with the taste. Mm -hmm. Taste alone, I'd be up in the eight fives, mm -hmm. eight sixes, uh, but I, I am gonna drop it back a full point and go seven seven mm -hmm. on this, just simply because of the value. Value. Just simply because <clears throat> of the price point. Mm -hmm. I guess where I came out on that is this is an 18 year old scotch and I expect it to be a hundred or more. I, and which I, I totally agree, but mm -hmm. once again, it's not something you're going to go into the liquor store right. every single day and be able to say, hey, give me that 120, <laughs> uh, at least not yeah. on my budget. <laughs> uh, this is a Christmas present to myself. And that's... And, and, so it's not like I go out and buy those I, often, but... Um, and, I, and I see your point. Yeah. But I'm still saying... Yeah, no, you're... Yeah. You, you're not going to go in and <clears throat> be able to pull off the shelf a twenty nine ninety nine <laughs> right. bottle. No. Okay, uh, so I think that wraps it up. Um, it does help this channel out a lot if you uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell down there. And when you watch, make sure you share it. Yeah, share send it. Send it out. Yeah, send share it to your buddies. That kind of stuff. So, um, Al, I, I don't have anything left. You have anything? I don't have anything le left. Uh, I, I appreciate you inviting me again to open yeah, up man. this one up. This absolutely. Is delicious. We'll whiskey. do it again. Absolutely. Cheers.